basket. We had five trays of blueberries. The trays had 34 blueberries in each. We looked at our basket, how many berries were in it to see. We'll multiply by a single digit. So now follow along as I describe how to multiply 34 by 5. I can start with 4 times 5 to see that the product will be 20. Then I'll multiply 30 times 5, and at the product 150, I arrive at the partial products 150 and 20, and the total product is 170. A geometric model can help us see just how we arrived at this product visually, or we can build a problem out and show what the block, then count the total product, see how many we have got. We have nine bags of cans we picked up off the street. We fit 28 cans inside of each. How many cans do we have to bring in for redemption? To find out, we planned out the multiplication. 28 multiplied by 9, we multiply 8 by 9, write 72 under the line. Then we multiply the tens, 20 by 9, 180 goes next to the equal sign. And then it's time to do the final step we'll do. We add them up to find 252. Now we'll check our work before we're done, using the inverse operation. A geometric model can help us see just how we arrived at this product visually. Or we can build a problem out and show what we got. Then count the total product, see how many we got. A geometric model can help us see just how we arrived at this product visually. Or we can build a problem out and show what we got. Visit numberock.com for exclusive content, lesson materials, and more. Thanks for watching.